Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube. We're going to be doing a collective reading, tapping into the energy of the collective, seeing what the divine needs you to hear right now. I was considering doing a pick a card reading, but it felt more appropriate to do something similar to what it would be like if I was actually reading for you as a client or a friend. So let's go ahead and just kind of tap into that. I just blessed the deck. So if you would like, just take this time to think about what message this might apply to in your life where this message would apply, if at all, especially if you were called to listen to this reading or when you clicked on it, you knew that it was a vibe. You knew that it was something that there was something in it that you were going to be receiving from this time. Okay. I set the intention that if you're watching this, that spirit speak directly to you into your heart and that the message that the divine is ready to give to you today that it be received to you in full and that it give you clarity and direction at this stage in the and your purpose in life or something that's been lingering on your heart and mind May this reading protect you and honor you. And help you along your way. Okay, let's go ahead and... I don't know why I'm hearing like zip zap zoop, like zip zap, zip zap. I don't know. I've never actually heard of that before, but spirit is... Uh, they want to talk... To, I'm, I'm hearing a, a reference to like rushing to make choices and decisions, um, which is interesting because I don't see that here yet. I'm hearing zip zap zip zap. I don't know why I'm that's what's coming through. I feel like spirit is really I I just heard a cautionary tale about something um either this is something like something that you're accustomed to or something that someone that you know, they have a history. Um I, I just heard like history repeats itself. So there's um decisions or not decisions, but um, things that we do that pay off, things that we do that are, are good, um, where we don't have any regrets. And in this case, there's this cautionary tale Spirit is talking about on really taking your time uh, in selections, Seven of Cups, really taking your time. And to not, Spirit wants to talk to you about even the small decisions that you make in your day-to-day -day life. I don't want to say take them seriously, but be cautious with them because a small choice or small choices can make, have bigger repercussions. And spirit wants to talk to you about the quality of the choices <clears throat> in everything that you do. This doesn't mean that you embody a spirit of anxiety when you make choices or after you make a decision if you, then you start wondering you know did i make the right choice in the small things there's no there should be no sense of anxiety spirit is wanting to guide you into the choices and decisions that you make let them be from a space of peace and let them promote peace and surround you in peace um moving forward so instead of you diving into something because you don't want to sit with it for too long or you don't want to or you feel like what harm could come from this by just I don't know why I'm seeing like like someone overfilling their cart this could be an actual physical cart um or it could be a metaphorical cart where you put too much in that you end up taking the financial burden and it may seem so small but ultimately it can impact later on down the line your options, what's available to you because you already bombarded yourself with a small little things. Um, um, what I'm kind of getting here is I'm getting this vision of this coal mine um, and this coal mine kind of goes, it's an actual cart that kind of 
makes snakes its way through the coals, right? So if we're picking up these tiny bits of coal because you want to make $10, $20, $5 off of these bits of coal and you keep going and you fill your cart up, then imagine if you got to a, a mecca of diamonds and you could, if you were more selective in your choices and not picking up these small things, which you kind of had that feeling, like an uneasy feeling when you're picking them up, that spirit was kind of leading you to wait for the right moment and, 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 and be more selective in what you're putting in your cart. You can't even tip the, coal, the, the cart over in order to empty the cart of the coal in order to fill your cart up with diamonds because it's so heavy, it's so burdensome. So spirit wants you to kind of reevaluate this like behavior that they're seeing or, or it could be a repetitive pattern that has been seen before where you've seen someone or you yourself have made this these choices and decisions in the past where you filled your you filled yourself up with things that ultimately kind of didn't pay off as for far as it could but spirit also wants to refer to this element of peace um, and that the choices that you make, right? The things that you pick up, up right now, if you're saying yes to a bunch of things or no to certain things, are those decisions, even though you may make them like quick. I don't know why they're saying like zip zap, like you just do it real fast. I've never even heard the term zip zap, but it just seems really quick, like yes, 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 da, 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 da. Like there's not, spirit wants there to be more thought because the afterthought will have you thinking. Does that make sense? Um, so they really wanna caution you about being very much more selective um, in the choices that you make. And sometimes spirit wants to refer to, sometimes not having anything in your cart is going to carry you further um, and, and keep the light, um, keep the load lighter so that you're actually able to, I just heard to be receptive to things that are coming your way in the future. I just heard things that are advancing towards you. So there's this, um, emphasis on what the future is going to hold, but it, it, it's not so much of, um, it's a different form of opportunity. So some of you guys, you may be so like the selection, <clears throat> it's like the selection is going to start thinning out, but the selection is going is going to increase in quality. So for right now, are you putting this in your cart or are you putting this in your lap? Are you putting this in your, you know, are you holding on to this because you you want to have it just in case? Or are you putting this in your cart? Are you putting this in your lap? Because it has some type of value that's going to benefit you in the future. Make sure that you're very careful and considerate, uh, considerate of how the even the smallest choices right now are going could lead to what how they lead into your future and what your future could look like. And Spirit is saying we're going to help you with this if you allow them in to work with you, okay? If the, if you allow them in. So uh, this was just a channeled message right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start looking actually at the tarot. So the first card that jumped out was a seven of cups. We have six of cups upright. <clears throat> we have page of swords reverse. We have six of wands reverse, two of wands reverse, knight of cups reverse, and the hermit card reverse. So this has a lot to do with energy, um, the quality of your energy, does your energy and your aura feel bombarded? Does your energy and your aura feel uplifted and clear? Or are there certain things that you can, <clears throat> certain things that you can kind of like cleanse yourself of? The other thing is, um, I'm, I just heard spirit say, don't linger too far, too long in the, uh, the realms of the past. The choices and decisions that is that you've made it is what it is, you know? There's a lot of grace and compassion and kindness towards you for any choices that is that you made already up until this point. Um, I don't necessarily see that this is going to um, impede you in any way, like or stop you or halt you now moving forward. But there is, I, I keep hearing like this cautionary tale of making sure that we're not doing that again. Like we're not going to relive that. We're not going to 
we I don't know that I don't know what's gonna be in the future maybe these cards behind will kind of talk about the future we'll see what the vibe is but and where spirit wants to lead this because remember guys I'm staying open um, I just I really get the strong sense that spirit wants you to lighten up your load um, so that your your hands your energy your head your heart is clear and open to receiving with the hermit card reversed it's interesting because sometimes this card could represent periods of loneliness and isolation and when this card is reversed it's almost like someone is stepping into like knocks on the door when you're in your meditation and they kind of like sit down with you or want to join you and it ends up feeling good I don't the hermit card reverse actually feels very very genuine I don't know why that's the word that's coming through it feels very genuine authentic it's like genuine authentic friendship genuine authentic connection genuine authentic like a collaboration of some sort. I don't see the three of wands here, three of pentacles, which can really signify collaboration, but I am getting a strong sense that what is coming in is something that was uninvited by you, but invited in by spirit, and it's everything that you may need, surprisingly so. You'd be very, very surprised. <clears throat> oh my goodness, God bless me. I could feel it coming, but it just wouldn't. <clears throat> Anyways, let's go ahead and look at these cards now. Wow, the moon card. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It has a lot to do with clarity. And the moon card is the opposite of clarity. The moon card is, it ain't clear. Like, you, you, you're really going to have a tough time seeing with your physical eyes, feeling with your you know, touch, understanding with your mind, the quality of, of the connections that are around you for good or for bad, right? So let's say something comes in uninvited, knocks on the door and says, knock, 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 can I join you? And you're just like, I was actually meditating and you're infringing on my space. You'd be surprised that connection, even though it's intruding, it actually feels like a, be a benefactor. It actually feels good, but you wouldn't be able to see that flip side on the opposite end of the spectrum you would not be able to see something that seems like an opportunity could actually turn into bigger baggage later on down the line and the way to vibe with that is to check the energy and the vibe and talk to spirit about it because they are very very open and willing to discuss with you the choices and decisions that you make now let's say this is something as small as do i choose apples or oranges when i go to whole foods to go grocery shopping right if you are already in the parking lot or if you set the intention at the beginning of your day that all the decisions and choices that you make be for your highest and greatest good and that they benefit you um, and that spirit leads you to the right choices for you even in the smallest decisions and that's the intention that you set for yourself, then that energy, that blessing, that intention, that realm of protection that you um, incited around yourself, that you spoke, that you invoked around yourself, is going to help you in your choices and decision making, black or white, right? So we have seven of cups with so the choice, uh, card of choices, and then we have the moon card, which reps, represents illusion, but it's also representing sometimes we don't see where our choices can ultimately lead that lead us for good or for bad, and some things aren't always black and white. So let's say you you choose the white um, decision over here, that can lead to white and black. Uh, um, impacts negative and positive impacts is what it is I'm saying um, let's say you go you choose a black wolf or you choose this black option that can then even though that's veering off to the left it can also lead into the pros and cons of that situation so allow spirit to lead you through the choices and decisions that is that you make moving forward okay don't lock the door to spirit trying to knock 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 come on in and say listen let me help guide you and lead you along your path because this can uh, even the smallest choices can make a big difference and this is not something to incite anxiety within you it's something actually that they're setting the intention that'll actually give you a great amount of peace surprisingly so yes yeah, see four of wands nine of pentacles wow they're really trying to um protect your prosperity prosperity is not just financial abundance it's also the quality of the connections the quality of your relationships um, and your peace of mind um, and this feeling, the sense of stability and support 
that you are supported in this world, let's say, terrible metaphor, but let's say the world is just completely on fire, right? And you just happen to be in this oasis in this garden space that years ago, you're kind of planting your seeds and building your garden. The rest of the world could be on fire, knock on wood, but the rest of the world can be on fire. But because you you were kind of naturally being, you know, building your plethora of abundance in your space, you end up being nourished and supported, right? Um, even though other people may not fare, fare as well as you. Um, why? Because you were intuitively led to prep, not in a bad way, but like in a, in a good way. Like the choices and decisions that you make, you weren't thinking about them short term, or you weren't being guide, guided or led by spirit short term. It was more long term choice and decision making that there's no way that you could see where the future is. And there's no way that you could see where spirit is leading you. If that's the case, call in spirit more to guide you in every single choice and decision that you make. Also, call on spirit to, to provide. Let's say there's anything from the past, right? That you don't... Um, I just heard um, spirit say like ask ask for permission so ask ask your guides also even ask your ancestors there's something about writing a petition to your ancestors um to ask them to help with the choices that you've already made to help kind of iron them out now moving forward because something about what has already happened what has already occurred um can kind of come it just needs to be taken care of right it just needs to be smoothed out it could be smoothed out easier if you call on your spiritual team or if you call on the divine or whatever you believe in either way it's like this letting the divine in or letting in this energy to kind of help you now moving forward i, I just really get this strong sense of not doing this alone and i think that you would be surprised how much help can how much help can come through also even now that i'm looking at it we have this woman who's clearly has this beautiful garden and this bird that's coming in to help her kind of lift up this pentacle, right? Just kind of lift her up or bring it down to her, whatever, however it is that you envision this. Like, let me know down in the comments. Do you see this bird lifting this pentacle up or do you see this bird bringing something down to her? Really interested in seeing that because that's gonna be a message all, a message all by itself. I almost see this as her, as for me personally, I'm seeing this as the bird lifting it up, but I genuinely feel like everyone's going to be different here. Anyways, so it's almost like these little guides just kind of come through and just make your life easier. And you'd be surprised. I just get this really strong sense of you'd be surprised how far this can go. So let's kind of shuffle. Thank you, spirit. Let's kind of shuffle and see any last lingering messages here. And then we will say goodbye for now because I'm going to do um, the daily pull for for the day. For those of you guys that don't know, I do daily pulls every day, mostly every day unless I'm taking some time off, which I did Sunday. Yeah, guys, something is definitely trying to come in. Yep. We have Ace of Cups here, which originally came up reverse, and then we have Two of Wands, Knight of Cups. There's this expectancy, this energy of expectancy, but please open your heart to this. This, with the Ace of Cups, it can, of course, represent love, right? So that's definitely a potential that happens a lot. However, this is also intuition. It's also highlighting our ability to be recept receptive. So Spirit, when this card is reversed, it means that something... I just heard, like, bandwidth. Like, maybe you, you've you depleted your bandwidth or you, your bandwidth needs to be open. Like, your ability to receive information that's coming through. I do see this as divine divine, I don't say divine intervention, but something very similar to it, where something is stepping forward and wants to give to you. I just heard a tremendous source of wealth. Wow. A tremendous source of wealth. I just heard it's, it seems too good to be true, but it, it actually is, it, it actually is genuine, authentic. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see this, but in the Knight of Cups here, there's this, you see him, right? And you sometimes your eyes can look to the horse, but there's a little glimmering of ocean here. And it's almost as if we, if we were to pan our head to the left, 
I genuinely feel like there would be a whole paradise, but sometimes we don't see that. And I feel like spirit is kind of leading you or wants you to be open to being led to this, like a plethora. Like, I don't know why I'm hearing that. Like just in a plethora, an abundance that you're going to be really, truly led. If you're receiving, I'm getting this strong, so strong right now. If you're receiving this message right now, you divine is talking to you about their, they, they're knocking on the door because they want to lead you into plethora. And they really want you to be open. I'm also seeing the string of lights. It's like they're plugging it in and I just see it lighting up. So something is really trying to make its way into make its way to you. Oh my god, now I want to know what is it? I'm scared. Oh goodness, six of cups. Interesting. I just heard when I was shuffling for that, well, four of wands and the nine of pentacles wants to show up again. So um, spirit, when I, when the six of cups came out, it, it said, um, enough is enough. And to me, well, not to me, but what, what I'm hearing with that spirit says, when they say that enough is enough, Nova, now is not your time. No, go to bed. You need to go to bed. Go to bed. She's like, damn it, mom. She's so funny. She feels like if like I'm by myself for 30, go to bed. Sorry. Um, she feels like if I'm out of her sight for like 12 seconds that she cannot, she just simply cannot. Um, yeah, when I, when I hear like enough is enough, it's like you've waited enough for this. You've waited. It's like, it's some in spirit's mind. You've gone on, this has gone on too long. Meaning like you not having this or you, they said this being withheld from you. You'd be surprised. So spirit wants to say, that they are a huge advocate for Nova, go to bed. She's like, you're talking about knocking on the door and I'm trying to knock on the door and come in and help you. Let spirit lead, right? Um, spirit wants to let you know, why are you here? Go to bed, bed. She's like, I gotta poop. Sorry, um, spirit is saying that Sorry for the dog, Mom. Well, if you know, you know. But um, if not... Oh, speaking of which, yo, there's a dog right there. How cute. I didn't even notice that. It's so funny. Ah, the connections. The connections. Um, <clears throat> anyways, you, you would be surprised. Like, I don't know why, but Spirit wants to say, like, you'd be surprised how hard we've been advocating for you and how hard we've been working on your behalf. Sometimes you cannot see it. A lot of times you can't see it. Most of the time you can't see it. But that doesn't mean that it's not being done, right? Um, Spirit is saying that for whatever reason, you've waited enough or you've gone on long enough without this helping hand, without this, um, like, a, a prop up, you know what I mean? Abundance. Especially when it comes to the realm. Yep, see, five of pentacles. This is what they're saying. This is what you've been kind of, like, channeling and embodying and sitting with. Some of you guys, I just heard, like, you've been kind of, like, venturing, meaning like going through walking through this territory and this area of your life where you've kind of accepted this as your normal and you kind of said well this is as far as it can go or this is something that has happened to me and this is how it impacts me and I'm just gonna have to live my life this way uh, that's a very specific message and spirit says actually we're gonna turn the light on for you and we're gonna start cleaning this up we're gonna make it better I'm also hearing we're going to marrying. I just heard the word marrying. So uh, marriage unions will probably most likely be coming through. Some of you guys are product of divorce and or separation or great love, but love with struggle. The love is there, but the struggle is also there. It's like a tale of struggle. Some of you guys, this is health related. Some of you guys, this is actually trauma. I'm getting a really strong sense Actually, that's this overarching umbrella of is of trauma. So, something that is not fair that happened to you that kind of set you, that has not kind of it has set you back. So you can see other people mastering this area of their life or mastering multiple areas of your life, but you've almost kind of limped through it and just kind of accepted that. Well, this is the way that my cards fell, and this is my experience, and I've done everything that I can to help myself. But this is as far as it's gone. And that's when they say enough is enough. 
and that they they're really talking about like we've been vouching for you and advocating for you and helping you we've really been trying to help you there's also this really strong sense of like celebration for you right now I'm also hearing like you guys need to start activating this if you're watching this video I really get a strong sense that you're called to it for a very specific reason. You need to start activating this energy more um, instead of feeling like it, like, uh, it's like you taught, you want to start changing your lingo. Let's say you're like, I, I've experienced this trauma and this is my story. Start saying, I had, I did experience this trauma, but I'm actively healing from this right now. Like this is actually what my spirit and guides are working on fixing within me or healing within me so that I don't have to have this kind of like burden on my shoulder and I don't have to sacrifice any aspect of myself or my joy or my happiness because of this thing that happened to me that I thought I would have to live with. But my tale, I'm just hearing like my tale is going to be something that inspires the masses. It's going to inspire others. This, I'm hearing this is going to be a part of your legacy. Wow, cool. The story that they tell. The story, the stories that they tell. Something about that. Isn't that a book or a movie or something? If it is, guys, let me know down in the comments. But that's a very specific message, the stories that they tell. All right, guys. I love you so much. Wow. Wow. Feeling really good about this. Very, very good. I'm glad that I felt so strongly called to, um, I'm also, I just got a vision of like someone who would normally have a backpack or a suitcase they download it or download it they downgrade quote unquote to like a, not a fanny pack but something similar like they're gonna start keeping the load a lot lighter so that you're way more active let's say you've been called to be like more physically active or traveling carrying a suitcase could like kind of slow things down and then the cost that it would would require for you to bring the suitcase on board versus if you had everything that you need all of your essentials in this fanny pack and then all of the abundance that you would need. Sorry, guys. This is where I make the oils and stuff like that. And I have some empty jars down here that I'm going to be filling up with oils a little later on. Especially for the upcoming uh, full moon. But anyways, some of you guys, you think like, well, if I'm going to travel, I have to carry all of my stuff with me and put it in a suitcase. And I want enough money to, or I want the resources to be able to pay the $50 charge for the suitcase that's that's abundant you know what I mean like that's the mindset right but spirit is like what if what if you actually went in light and we gave you not only what you would need for the trip and need for the travel but that you could go and go to Paris or whatever and have enough money more money than you could imagine or the resources of abundance where we're gonna link you up with an amazing place where the family is going to be your second family or third family and then you're gonna have you're gonna go shopping and then your whole wardrobe will be replaced and you didn't have to pay for the the if you had a suitcase it would actually slow you down because and then you're actually paying to carry the baggage with you does that make sense I I, I don't it's like something about going lighter will actually help you go further. It will actually carry you longer. And as I said that, I didn't want to say it right away because this guy was just running by. I didn't want him to think that I was like, I mean, he ran by my house, but he literally was carrying like, um, he just ran, uh, ran by and he wasn't wearing a shirt. Clear, clearly he um, worked out. He wasn't wearing a shirt, but and he was wearing sunglasses, but his light, his load is light. So it just, it helps him probably go further. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to go ahead and get the daily tarot reading poll up. It's $5 a month. Um, it's available on my website, of course, at bahadilife.com. I'm not reaching out um, to anybody in the comments or on email or WhatsApp offering readings. No, that's not me. That's a scammer. Um, and if you guys need me, of course, I'm working my magic here. Um, for this reading, I would highly recommend a road opener candle road opener fixed candle. I would also recommend um, the Egyptian ancestor oil is coming through really, really strong. I'll link it down below. 
But um, yeah, if you need me, I will be in the apothecary working my magic per usual. Um, until then, you guys, thank you so much for sitting with me, for sharing your energy with me. And I hope this reading resonated with you and met you with divine timing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.